Hey, this is Flo and welcome back to the widget kit course. Last time I showed you how to add multiple widgets to one widget extension. And this time I will show you how to add multiple supported families to one widget and then also display different content based on which family is given. Okay, so first of all, you want to move into your widget struct, which in my case is the stocks widget in the stocks widget.swift file. And in the body here, we have a configuration of our uh, actual widget view, which in this case is called stocks widget entry view. And it is a intent configuration. Just as a reminder, there's also a static configuration. But as we want the user to be able to enter a stock symbol, we need the intent configuration, configuration using our configuration intent. Okay. So now to actually support different widget size classes, there is the supported fa families modifier down here. And in there you just pass an array of all the size classes that you want to support. So for example, we have added system medium, but you could also add system small or system large. So let's add system small. Now to actually see all of uh, see the new widget in the preview. We could change the preview context family in this preview or what we could do is copy all of it, create a group in here, paste it back in and then paste it in another time but this time with a different family. Now if I rerun the preview you will notice that we will have two widgets so at the top we will have the system medium size widget and at the bottom we will have the system small size widget. Let's actually look at that in the simulator as well. Okay, so as you can see from the previous episodes we still have the medium sized widget up here and we also have the small sized widget down here. And if we now edit the home screen, tap the plus icon scroll down to the stocks app then you will see the system small size is available but the system medium size is also available okay now to actually change the widgets content based on the supported size based on the selected size one idea would be to create different widgets one which only supports, for example, system small with its own timeline provider and its own timeline entries. And then another widget only supporting system medium with its own timeline provider and its own timeline entries. And then putting both of these widgets in our widget bundle body. This is one way to do it. But the easier way is to just support both families for our stocks widget. And now go into the stocks widget view and inside of the stocks widget view we can actually grab the widget family from the environment so just say add environment and then the key path is widget family and store this in a variable let me just call it family since you can see that syntax highlighting works this is actually the correct notation let's option click on this and here you can see the template of the widget small, medium, or large. And now we can change what is displayed based on the widget family. So in our body, we could now grab all of the VStack, copy it and remove it. Okay, and here we can actually just create a switch statement on the widget family. So let's just say switch over the family. One case would be system small. In here we could, for example, just show some text. Another case would be system medium. Those are the two families that we're actually supporting. Let's for now also just put some text in here. And then in the default case, let's just say not implemented. Okay. So this will work. And now what we can do is in the system medium, just paste our VStack back in. And this way, we can actually show different content based on the widget size. Now, what you should obviously do is not put the VStack in here, but actually create a different view for it and then just call the view 
in here. Now all of this works because the body is actually a view builder, otherwise you wouldn't be able to switch over the family and show different views, but that's a topic for another video. Okay, so what we could now say in here, just for simplicity reasons, let's remove this VStack again, put in a text saying medium size, and in the system small, let's just say small size, and then default should be not implemented. Now we can go back to our stocks widget, resume the preview, and then you will see that the medium size widget will just say medium size, and the small size widget will just say small size, because those are the views that we return in our switch statement. Now, for example, in the system medium, we could paste the VStack back in and this will work. Right now, the line chart is not displayed because the configuration intent has no value for the symbol parameter. But if we run this again in the simulator, you will see that the small size now actually shows small size as we have specified in our switch statement and the medium size widget will actually show our VStack with the symbol and the line chart as we have specified over here. Okay, that's it for this part. I hope that you learned something and if you did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.